What's up everybody, what's going on? In this video I'm bringing you a breakdown of Big Ben's two minute drive against the Giants on Monday Night Football. End of the first half, drove down for a touchdown, absolute clinic against man coverage in the two minute situation. Please ignore the huge ass ring light circle right here and a new setup in my, uh, at my girlfriend's spot. So uh, piecing it together, making sure you guys have good lighting to see what's going down here. It's great to have football back, bringing you guys this breakdown. For those of you guys that have followed my content for a little while, two years ago I used to do breakdowns all the time. Uh, I'm back in it now. This is the first one I've done in a little while. So uh, different setup a little bit, but still gonna work through the plays and uh, it should be dope. So first play here, there's about a minute left in the first half. Steelers are actually down, it's nine to 10. Their driver, we're gonna start at like second and eight. Let's check out this first play right here. Wow. Burrow growing up in Ohio, of course. Roethlisberger delivers a sideline route. James Washington. Wow. Burrow growing up in Ohio, of course. Roethlisberger delivers a sideline route. James Washington. All right, first play, classic Big Ben. This is for a different YouTube video, but I think Big Ben is the best vertical route thrower in the NFL and has been for a very long time. But as, as we saw in that play, it's literally just man across the board. I didn't draw the front. Two backers are walked up. Uh, Nickel Will right here. They're in a little dime package right here. This is Jabril Peppers. Washington here. Eric Ebron here. Juju here. And uh, I believe it was Claypool up to the outside. And basically, Steelers just going to go all Vert's concept right here, right? Boom, Vert. Boom, Juju, Vert. Boom, Vert. Sweet. And then Ebron's going to help Zach Banner on the block and then release underneath. Jabril Peppers goes with. It's basically just man coverage. In the TV copy, you can't see exactly what the DBs do, so I'm not giving you the full picture, but basically, Ben just gives a back shoulder read right here, or back shoulder throw right here. Uh, can't really tell if it's a fade or a curl, but either way, it's just a staple Steelers play, and it gets him in rhythm, right? Gets him out of second down, moves him to a first down, but this man coverage is what we'll see throughout the drive, and it's a good starting point for what the Steelers play off uh, with their next play, which you'll see right here. <laughs> Quick throw, Schuster Smith. Quick throw, Schuster Smith. All right, so here we are, second and 10, 39 seconds left. Another passing down for the Steelers. Giants elect to go man, once again. Locked up man here, locked up man here. Uh, I'll skip this for now. Locked up here once again. And then in the TV copy, you can't necessarily see what's going on, but you've got two safeties somewhere in the back. I'm thinking that one guy's playing center field, and then we'll see here this strong safety is getting ready to drive on the ball. Here's what's interesting. Last little tidbit here. Uh, Jabril Peppers on Eric Ebron right there, and you basically have a nose tackle and then five guys just lined up in the box. So it's man across the board, crystal clear picture for Ben Roethlisberger, and it's a great dial-up, right? Right here you have Juju Smith-Schuster in the slot. Eric Ebron's gonna run a nice little outside release from the tight end spot, work up, and then try to work a basic down the middle of the field. Juju's gonna stutter for a hot sec and scream on a drag route down below. Should do that in a different color right here. Ebron's route's here, boom. Juju's gonna stutter for a sec and scream down this way. And that's how we got James Washington again on another vertical concept. Same here with, with Claypool, another vertical concept right here. They are dialing up Juju right here. The Steelers, Big Ben, they know they are getting man coverage. This is the perfect rub. This rub action right here is going to free up Juju. It's a great scheme. It's a super easy win, easy throw. But what's interesting is what plays off of this. Watch this play again. Keep this concept in mind. Quick throw. It's a great job by Eric Ebron doing a little outside release using that rub route and then Juju just coming across in man coverage. Giants are in man coverage and they beat them very easily. All right, now this is where we're about to start to football nerd out. You guys are going to love this. Same exact formation, this next play. It's second and 10. There's, uh, check on my notes, 29 seconds left. Just gets the snap off. Flip short. Smith Schuster running again. And he's going to have first down. Just gets the snap off. Flip short. Smith Schuster running again. And he's going to have first down. Same exact formation, same exact personnel. You got Juju here, Eric Ebron here. 
Jabril, Jabril Pepper, struggling with that name here. Claypool, Washington, same exact thing. The Giants changed it up, though. They're running man coverage once again. It's a, a one robber like it was last time where this guy is working to come down here and play center field, for lack of a better term, and rob potential drag routes and help his buddies out. Erasing this here, though. But the Giants are saying, all right, sweet. Last time, they're not saying sweet, they're saying screw this. But last time, Juju beat us on a drag. What's our adjustment? How do we fix that? Well, we're having this guy going to come down and, and help in this area right here to prevent Juju from, from coming from left to right. All right, well, then what's the give and take there? It's a numbers game just like anything. They're going to ask this linebacker to drop back and keep eyes on this running back. In the last play, this safety, and you'll see it, you can see it in this uh, when we watch it again. Watch how much he's creeping down. But in the play before that, this safety was responsible for the back coming out this way. They're saying, no, 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 no. We want the safety coming down, covering this area, and we want the linebacker on the back. Watch the play one more time here to see what I'm talking about. Just gets the snap off. Flip short. Smith Schuster running again. And he's going to have first down. Football's a cat and mouse game. So the Steelers, they know what's going on. Big Ben, he's calling his own plays in two minutes. He knows the deal. He's calling man beater concepts. Steelers go with the same exact action to start, right? Ebron outside release, works up. It's trying to come across on a basic route. Switch colors once again to try to make it clear. Boom, 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 boom. Eric Ebron right there. Juju stutters for a half beat. He works in like he's coming on that same drag route. The Giants are like, sweet, we got him. We called the right defense. We got our buddy right here waiting to pick this off. All right, all is well. Steelers are saying not so fast. We have a 17-year NFL vet under center, Big Ben, first ballot Hall of Famer. He knows the deal. They asked Juju to do a little return route. All right, Giants are screwed. Great call. This is where coordinators are beating other coordinators. All this money they get, this is why right here. And I know Big Ben's calling his own plays, but coordinators play a role in it. Big Ben is beating the Giants defensive coordinator right here. And so they're out leveraged, right? Jabril Peppers gets caught up in this again right here on this mesh route. Corner tries to cheat and come over the top. Juju say, eh, I'm not having any of that. He comes back out on a little return route. Steelers win this. Another big play, great concept. Different man variation out of the Giants, bringing this safety down, but you can at least see this schematically what's going on. Big trade-off, something not to forget. By dropping this backer back, you're only having one, two, three, and four guys rushing the passer on the Steelers, five and potentially six guys right there. Every offensive line in the NFL should be able to win that. That's an interesting part. If you have an Aaron Donald here, it's a different story. You have a J.J. Watt here, it's a different story. When your offensive line is rock solid, like they get it done right here, give them credit, the Steelers are able to operate without even thinking because they are winning their one-on-one -on -one matchups. All right, next play. First and 10, only 21 seconds left in the game. Now they're in the fringe red zone looking to make something happen. Um. Pressure. Roethlisberger escapes, and he'll take off. Big Ben rumbling and sliding for a first down. Pressure. Roethlisberger escapes, and he'll take off. Big Ben rumbling and sliding for a first down. Giants, they're smart. They know the deal. It's the National Football League. They got beat on man coverage, single high man coverage, twice. And we talked about it. Two different variations of that. Where do they go to next? Still going in man, but this time two man. Both safeties up high. Going to keep getting deep and split the half there. On the other side, you're mad across the board once again. Here, locked up. Uh, and to prevent the huge amount of ink on the screen, not going to circle the rest of them. But what's the scheme? I guess check that. Right here, highlight it. This is where Juju is. The Steelers decide to switch up formations, mixing it up. Still going three by one. They got Vance McDonald off the ball. No more Eric Ebron. Still Jabril Peppers, which uh, is important because when you guys watch this again, I want to see. I want you guys to watch the uh, the end of this play. But all right, what's the scheme? On the on the bottom of your screen, they're going to use Juju on just a five yard little out route, little decoy, maybe a man option here. He can win, but. Uh, not necessarily a great option. Going vertical out here, put pressure on the safety. Tight end, they're doing that same outside release, and it looks like he's working on a bender route to try to capture the middle of this field. 
He doesn't really get there. Peppers does a good job getting his hands on him. And so this side gets all muddied up, right? They're man across the board here. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. On the bottom of the screen, James Washington, he's also getting beat up a little bit, but it looks like he is trying to get to what I call, most football people call a, uh, a circus concept, in which you're gonna inside release, work up, and then try to capture this outside area. It's actually a really poor drawing. That's a cardinal sin as a receiver. Try to work flat, right? Get friendly to the quarterback there a little bit. Right here, Benny Snell, He's checking protection. If the Giants bring heat, he's going to be called upon to stuff a gap. They don't necessarily do that. They're not hot. He's able to leak out a little bubble screen. As a result, the Giants are also reading Benny. And this linebacker, if Benny stays in for protection, right, and he's doing his job inside, then the linebacker will shoot the gap. That doesn't necessarily happen. Benny kind of leaks out. And as a result, this linebacker leaks out to cover him. Once again, we just talked about it in the last concept. That means... The Giants are only rushing four dudes. One, two, three, four. Steelers have five offensive linemen. Good offensive line should eat that up. That is one thing we haven't seen from the Giants is heavy, heavy pressure. Oh, wait. Coverage does a good job against these routes. It's kind of blocked off here. and eh, Nothing really happened in there. Doesn't get there. Beat up on the, on the circus route. What happens? Big Ben, the 17-year-old, or 17-year-old, the 17-year vet finds a lane and stumbles and bumbles his way for 12 yards. Before I go any further, with this in mind, let's watch the play one more time. Um. Pressure. Roethlisberger escapes, and he'll take off. Big Ben rumbling and sliding for a first down. The Giants defensive line, or linebacker kind of two-minute uh, package they have, didn't stay disciplined with their lanes. Big Ben, dual threat Big Ben, makes them pay. But it's because of this that you will never, ever, ever see two men without a spy uh, against a guy like Lamar Jackson. You will never, ever see it because when you run man coverage, every guy is accounted for except for the quarterback. And yes, Max, I know you could do a spy, and those are the things they do against dual threat guys. But by and large, against man coverage, everyone's accounted for except for the quarterback which is why you just you won't see this against Lamar Jackson you'll maybe uh teams won't give it to Big Ben either after uh he showed he showed the dual threatness but this is what just elite quarterback play right here right no one's open no one's open but he still makes the defense pay off of their adjustment we saw cover one the first play the second play we saw a different variation to cover one defensive coordinator still wants to do man he feels like that's the best way his defense can find success but not against Big Ben. He makes him pay with the legs. Also, one last thing. I said it at the beginning of this segment. Jabril Peppers, what are we doing? You got a 36-year-old quarterback. Had his fair share of injuries. And Jabril Peppers' back is to the play. Thinking he's getting blocked. Not really sure. I have a feeling he is getting chewed out this week on this effort. He should be able to have... So football awareness, which he was known for, that's why he was such a special player in college and is a good player in the NFL, but have the awareness to turn back and clock Big Ben, or at least not let him get the first down. Don't let him get 12, don't let him get even farther in the red zone, make it tough on him. Poor play right there by the, uh, the former Michigan Wolverine. Actually, check that, check that. Great play originally, great play in coverage, but the back end football awareness, tough. We're on to the next play. All right, here we go. Final play of the drive. There's 12 seconds left. The ball's on like the 12 yard line. Down. <laughs> Roethlisberger looks right. Slant. Knocked down. Still fighting for the end zone is Washington. He's in. The Steelers take the lead. Down. <laughs> Roethlisberger looks right. Slant. Knocked down. Still fighting for the end zone is Washington. He's in. The Steelers. Take the lead. Pittsburgh elects to go empty formation. I drew the picture wrong. No running back right there. Just Big Ben in the backfield. Juju's right here, highlighted in red. Unique formation. We haven't seen this one. Giants go with a different coverage, too. It's a little bit of everything. They're going to break up my other color here. They're going to go man coverage here on the outside. Man coverage here. Man coverage here. It looks like man coverage here, and they're going to do some sort of kind of in and out bracket scheme right here. This safety right here, he's over top. Who's he over the top of? Almost said number nine from his uh, his college days at SC with me, but uh, number 19, Juju right here. 
Steelers, right? They're playing the cat and mouse game as well. What's the concept? They're just gonna go a nice little go route concept with a five yard out right here. Nothing fancy. Pretty sure that was the very first half field concept I ever was installed uh, to me as a, as, a, as, a young, as a young quarterback. But uh, anyways, easy answer right there. Down here with Juju. What are they trying to do? Eric Ebron now in the game. He, and I'll get into that in a sec. He crosses face and just works vertical. I'll get into the strategy there. Juju, he is going to work on, it looks like a fade route, but really it's a total rub route. He's going to attack this corner and just kind of work vertical. This whole entire concept is drawn up for James Washington on the bottom of the screen right here. Shouldn't use circles. Bottom of the screen right here. What they are going to do is that same rub route action we saw with Ebron and Juju earlier in the game, it's great against man. It's still great against man. Even though this isn't fully man across the board, this down here between these two guys or these three guys, this is man coverage. So what happens? MP formation. Eric Ebron makes this play. For football nerds, he makes this play. If he doesn't do his job and he doesn't cross face, this could be a different game. By him crossing face on Jabril Peppers, it forces Jabril to fully commit to Eric Ebron. And then, oh, by the way, he actually ends up taking this safety who works this way once this number two receiver runs his five yard out. Safety's thinking this guy initially, once the slot runs his five yard out, he's taking his eyes back here. Ebron takes two guys. Let me give credit where credit is due. Eric Ebron takes out two defenders. Numbers advantage for the Steelers. Now it's really just a red zone concept route right here with Juju. He's running this, like I said, fade route, but he's rubbing. And he's, his goal is to kind of pick this corner right here so James Washington can come underneath on a slant route for a touchdown. Big Ben hits it to him. This mesh works. Juju gets him. And uh, this free safety in the red zone in, under this coverage, not really a factor, right? He's there for deep ball stuff. This quick hitting slant route is a non-factor. Non I didn't draw the defensive line in. It was a similar deal, right? All four guys standing up, or all five guys standing up, two, four, six, seven, all four guys, sorry, kind of standing up in here. But uh, the strategy behind this is awesome, right? They take advantage of Juju early on and get him a nice little drag route, thanks to Eric Ebron. He might be the MVP of this drive. Steeler fans, I know he's new for you, but love him up because he made this drive. Juju gets the first, the first catch of the drive as, as a legitimate, or not first catch of the drive, but the first big play of the drive, he gets it. Then they go right back to it. Giants don't drastically change coverage, change it a little bit, and he goes a nice little return route. Easy money. Drive's getting going. Drive's getting going. And then they use him more as a decoy to get other guys involved, capped off right here by Juju being the, the rub guy, Juju being the guy that's supposed to pick uh, basketball terminology, this outside corner, for his buddy, former Oklahoma State Cowboy James Washington, to get into the end zone. This is a masterful job of beating man coverage. This is a masterful job of a quarterback managing a two-minute drill. And this is just the Steelers beating the Giants mentally, more so than physically. Don't get me wrong, they have some weapons, but it's the Steelers beating the Giants mentally first with the plays they're calling, and it's thanks to Big Ben behind center. Super interesting to see. Former teammate of mine, Juju Smith-Schuster, number 19. This is why he was so intriguing as a prospect, or as an NFL draft prospect, because as we saw this whole drive, he can operate in the slot. You're not doing that with every receiver. Juju is big enough to big boy any small corner, like we saw with some of these mesh concepts. Yet he's quick enough, fast enough, to beat any linebacker that they might put on him. That could be an absolute matchup nightmare. The what if game is interesting to play, right? If you had AB out there, I know it's been a couple years removed from that, but if you do AB, man, that's an absolute nightmare for the, for the defense because they've got to focus on him on the red zone. We all remember AB's red zone fade routes. This is Chase Claypool. I know they're trying to get him involved and have him be the red zone, red zone dude, but uh, it will be interesting to see as defenses fully, solely, solely, solely focus on him. And I know they did this last year a little bit how that changes things. You need James Washington to step up. You need Claypool to step up. And I love Eric Ebron on this drive. Steeler fans love him up. Didn't even get into the running back play and man coverage in this, but maybe that's a video for a different time. That's also a very 
Used to be a huge part of the Steelers offense with Le'Veon Bell. All you Steeler fans know that. James Conner, Benny Snell, they're going to ask to do something similar. Jalen Samuels as well. That's interesting. Don't want to get long-winded, but that's interesting. When you talk about a former college receiver in Jalen Samuels at the, at the running back position, if teams are going to go man and they're going to allow Ben to just call these passing concepts in two minutes, look out for Jalen Samuels to be an absolute matchup nightmare on linebacker, on a former receiver, just doing option routes, inside, outside, hitch up. Another factor, maybe that's a week two factor for the Steelers, looking to get the running back more involved in the pass game. I know James Conner is banged up, but uh, super fun breakdown for you football nerds, quarterback guys. I was sitting on my couch watching this game, and I'm literally watching just, to the, to the naked eye, it seems easy, but it's great work by Big Ben. Um, absolute teaching tapes. This is the first whiteboard breakdown I've done, but if you enjoyed it, would mean a lot if you could leave a like down below, share it with a friend, and subscribe to my channel for more football content this entire fall. I'm back in the breakdown game. Did it a lot in 2018, not on the whiteboard, more on the editing side, but uh, I'm back in the game now, looking to do a lot more of this NFL, college, basically whatever I'm seeing sitting on my couch on the weekends, especially with all this craziness going on. I will depict on the whiteboard for you guys. It's fun to nerd out on this stuff. And thanks for watching. Appreciate you guys checking this out. And uh, I'll see you next time.